What's going on, people? Look, man, I'm back at it again with these amazing facts, bro. Is there anything left you can trust? Nah, let me let me let y'all know something. Um, I'm always seeing Esau, the damn devil, the so-called white man. But anyway, I'm excited, bro, to be keeping these commandments. I'm not telling y'all. I'm not telling y'all nothing that I'm not doing. Uh, I'm not going and doing nothing in secret and having I used to secret scenes like. You know, sexual immoralities and stuff like that. Just bad thoughts and, um, you know what I'm saying? In my mind, I struggled with that for like four to seven years. But God has helped me overcome that. And I'm get, I'm telling you a real life story. This is not nothing that I went and looked at or nobody's video. But I'm doing, don't get me wrong, I still can improve, but I'm doing the best I can and trying to keep the, all of the commandments is 613. I'm doing my best and I'm striving to be better. So, and uh, I'm praying for y'all. I, I do my best and try to pray for everybody. I mean, pray for my people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people. And uh, I want to clear up something too. I realize what I'm saying ought to be a real Jew is a bloodline. It's something that, like they say, if a person is chosen, I don't go around putting a tip on my shoulders and saying, no, uh, I understand that you have to be chosen by blood in order to be a real chosen one. Like the people that was uh, the descendants of the Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. When those people was put on the cross, I mean, not cross, but excuse me, when they was put our people on, uh, whooped and beat the slaves and stuff, that's the real chosen ones. You see what I'm saying? So when I go around and say things, you do have to be careful what you say. You have to understand context the different things. Now look at him. Look at him. That's why the Bible says he's a like a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour. That's what he's doing. That's what the devil do. He roaring like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Trying to. That's a sister in that car right there. May the Most High continue to keep bless you and protect you on the highway, sister. Now, even though you don't know I said that, but that was the damn devil. That's right. That's what I think. What she did, she said, hey, I'm not going that way. Yeah, you got the, 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 the Bible said they're like a roaring lion walking about about seeking who made they made the vow but i'm doing the best i can to try to keep these commandments i'm not trying to act like i'm better than nobody i mean none of my people when i say that i'm not trying to do that i'm in no way trying to no i'm not doing i don't i don't play you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna i ain't i don't want to come on here and be no religious person you know because i i left christianity years ago hold on wait a minute hold on wait a minute The reason why I turned it off because uh, Facebook, you know, they strict about you putting music that you don't own in your video too. So, all right. The Bible says in, in, in 10, number 10, I'm on the first amazing facts. What advantage does a person have who accepts the Bible as God's inspired word? The Bible says, I understand more than the ancient. That's what David is saying. He said, I understand more than the ancients because I keep your precepts. Psalms 119 verses 100. You make me wiser than my enemies. Dang. God said he will make you wiser than Esau, bro. The so-called white man. He'll make you wiser than the enemies that enslaved the blacks, Hispanics, and Natives of America. That's Psalms 119 verses 98. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Isaiah 55, 9 answer Let, let's let's turn this around here I, I, I got to turn this around let y'all see this bro answer a person who accepts the word of god will discover answers to many m mysteries mysteries mean something you can't understand that can that confine 
those seeking only worldly answers. For instance, there is no no known way life could spring up from none life. The Bible says it took a supernatural. Okay, I just want to make sure I put it down with you. It took, hold on, we'll make sure, supernatural agent, God to start life scientists. Y'all know the Bible is science. Also known, now known that all human life today came from one woman. This is exactly what the Bible teaches in Genesis, in, Gen in the book of Genesis. You can also know that God created the world in six literal 24 hours days that a worldwide flood destroyed every living thing except sea, life, and what was inside the ark and that the different world, the different world languages originated as the Tower of Babel. You can also know that God created the world in six literal 24 hour days that a worldwide flood, okay, destroyed every living thing except sea, life, and what was inside the ark, and that the different world languages originated at the Tower of Babel. I read that. God, who has always existed and knows everything shares these truths with us in the Bible. Recognizing that we could never figure them out on our own. That's right. God's knowledge is past finding out. Romans chapter 11, verse 33. Believe that the Bible and you will always, excuse me, believe the Bible. Believe the Bible and you will always be ahead of ahead of the wisdom of mere humans. He tells us to believe in the Bible. And like, hold on one minute. Let me, let me uh, get this up off of here. Okay. It says believe in the Bible and you will always be ahead of the wisdom of mere humans. You won't never go wrong. Romans 11, 33. You should always believe in the Bible. Follow the Bible. That means follow the Bible means truly keep the commandments. And I actually have been clean, like, I, you know how you can actually like like be up, be in the Bible, but you struggling with that one sin? I feel like I struggled with that one sin. And God was not going to excuse that. You know what I'm saying? God ain't going to excuse that. So I asked him to give me the victory. So I've been clean coming up. Uh, I think it's November, around in November sometime. It's going to be three years. All praises to the Most High. Now, I'm not, in my, I'm not better than nobody, bro. I said I'm going to do the best I can and try because I can't come on here and tell you something and speaking on God, and I'm not following these things myself. I can't do that. Because that's a hypocrite, bro. And I, I removed myself from Christianity in 2014. What recent events have brought the power and appeal of the Bible into sharp focus? What recent events have brought the power and appeal of the Bible into sharp focus? All right. Answer. The increased number of natural disaster 
and the rise of worldwide ter terrorism. Worldwide terrorism are signs prediction predicted by the Bible, which says that at the end of time on the earth, distress of nations were with perplexity. Perplexity, perplexity means confusion. The sea and the waves roared. Luke 21 verse 25. The, the transmire, oh wait, I don't even know what that is, y'all. The trans, the transmire of December the 26th, 2004 is just one example. Over 2,225, 250 years or 25,000 people were reported dead over 25,000 people were reported dead or missing in what was one of the deadliest natural disasters in a deadliest natural disaster in modern history a year later, Hurricane Katrina ripped through New Orleans and remained and remained reminding us again of the prophetic power of Jesus' words that there would be waving waves roar, roaring. The Bible also predicted that the nation would rise against nations. Let me show that. I got to show this info. But this gonna help somebody that reads. Answer. Increased number of natural disaster and the rise of worldwide terrorism are signs predicted by the Bible, which says that at the end of time on the earth, distress of nations will perplexity, that's confusion. That means people are confused. The sea and the waves roar. Luke 21, 25, the, I don't even know how to say that one, y'all, so don't, don't, my bad on that one. And uh, somebody tell me what that mean in the comment section. Uh, okay, December 26, 2004 is just one example of over 2,500, 2,500, 25,000 people, hold on. Over 25,000 people were reported dead or missing. And what was one of the deadliest natural disasters in modern history? A, a, a year later, a year later, Hurricane Katrina ripped through New Orleans and remain, remaining, reminding us again of the prophetic power of Jesus words that there would be waves waves roaring okay let's, let's read this last part the Bible also predicts that nation will rise against nations Matthew 24 7 after the, this the devastating attack on on the world Trade Center towards Trade Center Towers on September the 11th, 2001. People realize that no nation is truly, truly secure. The outgoing conflict in the Middle East that we, we, we got them fighting over Jerusalem. And that's the land of the blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. They fight the people over in Palestinian fight over that land over there and that land is not even don't even belong to them uh so-called jewish people over there in the middle east and the palestinians they over there fighting over the, the holy land and that land is not even theirs the middle east all of these these things is proof and signs hold on let me turn this around all those things is proof and signs of the end time 
that we living in the last days because this is all proven the Bible to be true. Let's let's turn it around and keep going. The ongoing uh, torment of terrorism have brought people to the Bible as a source of strength and, and hope. Some people question the Bible because it speaks of the world. And I want to bring it up. For, it speaks. Some people question the Bible because it speaks of world being created instead of evolving Jesus acts when the son of man come comes will he really find faith on the earth Luke chapter 18 verse 8 will he find faith on the earth the theory of evolution however is now being widely discredited discredited for instance mellow secular oh i hope i'm saying i don't know if i'm saying it right mellow mole moles secular i don't know if i said it right biology hold on biology demonstrates that this single cell is in ear incredibly complex making the accidental origin of life hold on I'm going to wait till that clear up a little bit the origin of life in a single cell not just improper improper but impossible. Fraps, that's why, I'm gonna let that clear up a little bit. Many former atheists, people that don't believe in God, now believe, now believe the world was created, including from Fred, the no, fraud. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. Uh, let's see him. It's lighting up a little bit. Fred, Holly, Ho Holly. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, let me let it clear up a little bit first. I believe it's the enemy trying to. Once. New Nutris. Oh, I don't know if I said that right, but I do know this is atheist. All turn all Tony. All Tony flu flaw a flu. Who said the most impressive? How you doing, Mingo? All right, he spoke. Arguments. Impressive arguments for God's existence are those that are supported by recent scientific discoveries. The theory of evolution teaches that humans and apes came from a common ancestor denying that people were created in the image of God and that you have a real purpose to live with God. The scient the scientists, the scientists collapse of evolution. All evolution alone. Evolution is somebody who don't believe in creation with the with the fulfillment of I'm gonna make sure I say that right. Bible prophecy can help establish you, I mean, establish your faith in, in the word of God. Now, I don't know how in the 
in the heck I will sound. Uh, I might have said some of them wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. They had music in their truck. So anytime y'all hear me just mute the camera and I turn it around and show you, that means somebody play music. You two will get on you about music. So I don't know. I think I, I kind of got stuck on some of those words, bro. But y'all put in the comment section. Y'all let me know in the comment section if I've done a good job. Uh, if I said some of them, in, uh, I, I done the best I could. But uh, for the most part, I think I got most of them in there. But I, I had to go real slow with some of them because some of them, it was kind of like some of them is solid. Some of them can be tricky. Um, I think, I believe, Miss um, Turpin, put some in the comment section for me. You get these videos, put it in the, in the, in the comment section for me. Let me know if y'all got something out of this here. All right. All right. I love my blacks, Hispanics and natives of American people, which are real Jews, according to the Bible, bro. And um, I'm up out of here, man. I'm going to see y'all later. Um, the Bible. Is science and science come from the Bible. Everything that science get, they get it from the Bible. That's right. The video is entitled the Bible is science. The Bible is science. 